The sixth annual KUAM Sports Charity Golf Tournament is presented by, with special thanks to, Welcome back to the 6th Annual KUAM Charity Golf Tournament to benefit the victims of Typhoon Sadalor in Saipan. The overhead exposure and time of day may play a factor in determining how each team performs today. All of our teams, practically 100 people, have now checked in, are fully prepared, have adequately polished their clubs and scuffed their shoes, and are slightly hydrated, and they're certainly pumped to head out to their assigned holes. So let's catch up with them All right, Saipan! <laughs> All right, we are here on the hole number 14, a par three. And if there was going to be a KUM Charity Golf Tournament Hall of Fame, yeah. Phil, you would be the first inductee. Well, I, you know, I'm trying to get these guys to make it. So that's why I brought them along. And I hope that they uh, do pretty well. And of course, you've won in the past in this golf tournament. We thank you again for playing. And how are you doing so far? Um, so far, my partner Benson's been carrying me. So I, I don't know, his back might be hurting right now. Uh, well, can we can we get an injury report on you? <laughs> no, 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 no. I think you know uh, we want to get here and, and enjoy the day and play some golf and uh, support Saipan and you know get things going for them. You know, so it's been a good round. You know, we help each other out. <laughs> okay, with the par three, so you know you guys are going to probably be a uh, cooperative. Yep. Yeah, exactly. you're, you're also hitting downhill. So how are you going to approach this hill? Uh, use my putter. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I would actually like to see that. You know, we, we can we can give you a mulligan if you, if you do that on, on really? camera. Okay. On camera. After yeah. I hit my first ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we have we have the tournaments. One of our youngest golfers here. So, uh, what's your name, my friend, and uh, how old are you? Um, my name is Jacob, and I'm 11. Okay, you are the youngest because there's a 12 year old girl, I believe, playing and everything like that. So, um, it's good to see some young people come out and play. Um, how do you like the course so far? What are you feeling? Good. <laughs> yes, oh, it's good. How long have you been playing golf? Like when I was five or four. Well, so you're a seasoned pro already. You know, you know what? With all due respect to you, gentlemen, can we let Jacob hit first? Absolutely. All right. All right. And uh, how how are you feeling about uh, having him as a partner, mentoring him, and just having a good time for Saipan? The ringer. He's going to be my ringer. So hopefully, uh, you know, we'll win. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, what message would you like to send to our friends up there in Saipan to you know give them a boost and get them back on track? Uh, you know, the tomorrow spirit is never giving up and everybody helping each other. So I'm sure that they'll get through this just like any other storm. Um, and our best wishes for them. Right, very well said. Jacob, would you like to say anything to our friends in Saipan? <laughs> yeah. Uh, good luck. Good luck. Do you have any family or any friends that are up there right now? All right, well, Benson, you, you actually gave us a, uh, a very good soundbite in your organization, the Chinese Chamber of Commerce, is doing wonderful work for the folks in Saipan. Uh, what message would you like to send to them? Well, you know, uh, for like everybody who lived on Guam for a long time, you know, we've been through this, you know, before, you know, with uh, Pong Sun Wa, as far back as uh, Pamela. So, you know, stay strong and, you know, stay positive. And, uh, you know, Chinese Chamber is trying to put together the 40 foot container. Hopefully, we'll be leaving next week and get to you guys uh, as soon as we can. Well, thank you so much, and thank you for your work. Now, um, the tomorrow spirit, as was said earlier, is very, very resilient. They share, they share the exact same values and virtues that we do. Um, how are they going to make it through this and everything? Because the the feedback we're getting is that their spirit is very positive, and you know they're staying focused on the the work at hand. But it's a lot for them to go through. I think you know, with the support that that we hear and and through the world, uh, you know, coming together. I think uh, with that was is, is enough hope for, for them to know that everybody outside of Saipan is, is looking out for them and in their best interest. And, the, and like Doc said earlier, you know, the culture is, is, is very we're resilient. And uh, I think uh, once uh, the, the progress occurs, you know, it takes one step at a time, we'll, we'll get through that. Now, because this is a community event that raises money for our oh. friends to the north, not everyone is exactly a seasoned and PGA level golfer. And today's event certainly didn't go without some rather lighthearted moments. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, watching this on television or online at YouTube, you may not know this, but you were actually hitting. And we have the unmistakable sounds of Survivor in the back. You know, you're <laughs> talking it just for me. high on you, yep. high of the tiger. And you cannot do sports incorrectly if you've got Survivor playing in the background. So how'd you feel about it's, that? It's a great momentum push for me and I'm 
thinking I'm going to birdie this hole. All right. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Logan Rage is here putting on the par 4 18th for par. We'll, we'll just say we'll just say two under par. <laughs> All right, it is the hottest part of the day right now. The sun is really beating down. You know, we started off kind of overcast, but how are the conditions affecting your play right now? Oh, not that much. As we get down to the Valley, I think we're going to have a little bit more of a hard time. There's no wind down there. So you can see now there's no wind right now, so we just wait till we get to the back. And were you guys aware that this is unofficially known as a Mosquito Hole right now? Oh, yes. I've played here so many times. The next hole is Mosquito Hole. <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck with that. I hope you brought some off. No. Brown skin doesn't need it. <laughs> <laughs>